Hi Sherry, I'm teaching you how to do a dumbbell bent over row, uh, two dumbbells at one time. Um, and this is apparently the best angle and the only angle that I can do that from. Um, you're going to be doing a fairly uh, large amount of reps and you're also going to be doing what we call an eccentric, so a lowering portion of lift. This is really good for building strength, but it's also good for building positional awareness when you're first starting to learn things. So what you're going to do is pick out your dumbbells and basically when you do begin, it's not going to be a bad thing if you're starting out lighter than you think you need to. So I'm just going to grab these tens and replace them on the floor where you will most likely start with them. Um, remember that anytime you pick up anything from the floor, you want to pick it up the same way we've been teaching you through that Romanian deadlift. So you're going to start in your athletic position, right? Basically just trying to think about what would you do if you were resting, right, from a hard workout. You'd look like this with the back in neutral, the chest is up, maybe the hands on the knees. You're going to take the hands off the knees, grab your dumbbells, maintaining that same position, flat back position. So once you're in that position, you're just going to be pulling straight up so that your elbows are at 45 degree angles from your body. And you're going to be lowering one, two, three during every single repetition. So one of the things that you'll want to do as you're actively trying to do the bend of a row is think about what's happening with your shoulders. So if you're doing this and you're finding that you're shrugging a lot, Think about creating space from your ears to your shoulders so that each time you're staying away from that position of just shrugging to get the bell to where it needs to be. You'll also probably feel just a little bit tired as you're hanging out in this position and that's okay. That's one of the reasons I really like this movement because it doesn't just involve your arms, it also involves keeping this position intact. Um, the last thing I'll say is a little bit about that 45 degree angle. Basically, I don't want you pulling like this, but instead like that, okay? So imagine just always having a little bit of space here, but to go like this would not be super great either. So 45 degree angle just kind of hit that range of motion right there.